Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I'm Marla and this is, this is my YouTube channel. So if you want, while you're here, you can just subscribe. I mean, if you want to. So today's video is going to be a reading assumptions about me video. And then it's like me replying to those assumptions. Okay, so I have a friend named Avery and Avery already did this video on YouTube and that's where I got the idea from. So I'll have hers linked down below. So thanks Avery for the YouTube video idea. Thanks a lot. I'm not really gonna get too in depth about my answers. If you guys want, you can go watch my other Q and A's on my YouTube channel because that will probably answer a lot more. Oh, also I'm a little sick, so I sound a little nasally. You smell like a grandma. No, I actually smell like Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume because that's what I wear. This next one is one that I got like so many times and it's you're very religious I'm actually like really grateful that I got this one a lot because that just goes to show that I'm like living my standards and that like you guys can tell But yes, I am very religious. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's great. It's fun You still haven't had your first kiss. Correct. I have not had my first kiss actually Kindergarten, but does kindergarten count? Oh, also, this is not herpes. My mom was like, what's on your lip? And I was like, I don't know. It's like a ugly pimple thing and it's just sitting on my lip. So that's what that is. You want to be like Emma Chamberlain. Emma's a great person and she's herself, but I'm myself too. So no, 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 it's a no for me. You're never insecure. That is the fattest lie. Cause <laughs> are you kidding? Your parents are rich and they pay for a lot of things for you. That is also a lie. My Parents, I mean like I have a roof over my head because of them and you know, I've survived this long because of them I make my own money So for the past couple of years I've just been buying my own clothes or if I want a new room decor item I buy it for myself Basically if it's a need my parents provide it and then if it's a want then I get it for myself I assume you are lying about not liking slash dating anyone first off. No I've had a crush on the same guy for a very long time now, but like I'm not publicizing that I'm not exposing myself, but no, I do not lie about dating. I mean why would I want to hide something like that? I love Sam more than any of my siblings. It's true. Sorry, Evelyn. <laughs> okay. You're basic. Uh, that's kind of true. Um, you're Christian. Yes. That you're kind of a prude. I actually googled what a prude was because I was like, well, what's that? If you guys don't know what a prude is, it's basically someone that's super sensitive about like nudity or sex or anything of the sort. And I mean, I guess. I do have standards of I don't participate in sexual activity before marriage. I I pretty much wear modest clothing. Like, I'm. you can call it a prude, but I just call it having my own standards. So call it what you want, but. <laughs> oh, also really quick, I was kind of nervous to post this because I thought everyone was going to roast me, but a lot of you guys were saying like super sweet things too. So thank you for anyone that was just kind. You are a virgin. That is not a bad thing. Love you, girl. <laughs> yes, I'm a virgin. <laughs> Abstinence is key. You're not going to college since you're a successful YouTuber. <laughs> I'm 15, so I got a while to think about it, but I do plan on going to college just because it's like, at the end of the day, YouTube's an app. It could crash. I could, all of, all of my career could be deleted. Do you know what? That's actually a scary thought because my career could be deleted. You know, like someone, some, Salty person at YouTube headquarters is just like, you know, I don't like this Marla Catherine girl and then she just goes boop and my YouTube channel gone <laughs> These videos non-existent you think you're vintage slash 80s, but you dress like every white girl in 2019 What I don't understand is that like I don't think I'm vintage. I don't think I'm 80s I was born in 2003. I wasn't alive for that phase, but like this is just clothing that I like I wear that clothing I'm not saying I'm special because I wear that clothing. It's just what I do. If that's what I enjoy then why does it matter to you? Your mom's low-key a stoner <laughs> Yeah, I'm just kidding. No, my mom's not a stoner. Did you say used to be? Are you my mother? Are you my mother? Mom! Mom, what are you smoking? <laughs> my mom's not a stoner. Why would you think that? I mean, I mean, I can see why you think that, but like my mom's not a stoner. She just can get some, she can just get wild sometimes. You seem like the kid that vapes in the bathroom stalls with her boyfriend. First off, I don't have a boyfriend. Second off, I don't vape. So that settles that. <laughs> it was the ring finger. You actually get hit up by a lot of boys. <laughs> No, um, you're bisexual. I got this one a lot actually and no, I'm not. I'm straight. Your family is your top priority. Yes. Yes, my family is my top priority. Priority. Actually, it depends. I mean, Friday nights, my friends are my priority. Um, your eyebrows are worms. I and mean, they put a question mark after it. Like, like your eyebrows are worms? Do I look cross-eyed? <laughs> you wish that you lived in LA. Not at all. Like, it's a cool place to visit for a little bit, but not to live. You secretly love TikTok. Yes. You're judgy. Mm, no, like I do my best to honestly not judge people. Honestly, I think it's human nature for like us to judge people just by what we see, you know? But I do try my best to not because you never know what's going on, you know? We're like the behind story, why people do such or... Next one, you're kind of self-absorbed. <laughs> I do feel like this is something that a lot of people could think because I have a YouTube channel 
called Marla Catherine. And then I have an Instagram account just literally full of pictures of myself. And so I feel like it's easy for people to assume that I'm super vain or like self-absorbed, but I honestly think that like I'm not. You know, and I, yeah, you take a selfie or two, but that's for Instagram. If anything, I feel self-conscious a lot. Like, but it's not self-absorbed. Like I don't think I'm better than anyone or I don't think I'm better looking than anyone. It's just more like, I'm. if anything, I'm like thinking about, oh, I hope I don't look ugly right now. Uh, someone said, you're in a cult. No, why? Why would you? <laughs> Why would you think that? You're very innocent. Define innocent because like, <laughs> define innocent. <laughs> My mom's questioning me. You sound like a freak. I haven't even had my first kiss, so if you're talking about like stuff like that, then yeah, I'm, I'm really innocent. Someone said, I get annoyed quickly and I get annoyed a lot. Is that what they said? Yeah. I feel like I'm a pretty patient person, but when it comes to my family, like with people, like in general, like I'm normally pretty patient. Um, but when it comes to my family, yes, sometimes I get annoyed like really easily. But then again, who doesn't? You are not popular at school. This is actually very true because I feel like there is kind of like a specific category of people that are like popular at my school and I'm not in that group. I'm sure there's a lot of people that assume since I have 1 million subscribers on YouTube, which is a lot of people that I would be like drowning with friends at school, but no, it's not like that. Uh, no, I wouldn't categorize myself as popular at school. A lot of people think I vape. I know Avery, like in her video, a lot of people said that she would like looked like a stoner. But a lot of people are saying that I feel like too. You hold grudges. Actually, I feel like like you hold grudges, but me, I'll be like the next day, I'm like, we're best friends. Yeah, and I'll be like, get away. <laughs> <laughs> this is Evelyn. That's Evelyn, so like I love you. I love you, Evelyn. You, I love you. <laughs> Evelyn, the fight. I don't fight. I don't argue. I don't fight. I don't argue. <laughs> You guys, I found like the best TikToks. Oh my goodness. We should do the, you know, have you seen like Ryan Trahan? He's yeah. like, or is it Trahan or Trahan? Trahan? I think it's Trahan. Trahan. I, it's I've Trahini. Heard, I've heard Trahan. It's Tehran. No, but he did like a be trying to become TikTok famous. That would actually be so funny. That would be so funny. Everybody also keeps on saying, every boy secretly has a crush on you. And I'm like, no, like show them where are they? You're always pretty no matter what. No. Someone assumed that I wake up looking beautiful. <laughs> No. <laughs> you get annoyed when viewers come up to you. So like when I meet like you guys. I don't think I've ever gotten and like afterwards I'm always like they were so sweet. Like I don't yeah, think- Yeah, no, not annoyed at all. Like I don't think I've ever been annoyed nor ever will be. Like I know sometimes there can be like kind of invasive viewers. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, I've had a few experiences where like one of the mom- it was a mom. It was the mom of the viewer and she was like, how much money do you make on YouTube? And I was just like, that's not a very appropriate question like to ask. Something that is annoying is when people DM me and then they're like, I saw you at Walmart but I was too scared to say hi and I'm just like, just say hi like I'm not gonna bite you like like I promise I won't get annoyed so yes come say hi to me I would love to say hi to you guys you annoy the crap out of your siblings Evelyn do you have something to say um yeah you're really annoying you're pretty but annoying both of those are wrong you don't have your period no I have my period I got it when I was 11 you <laughs> why do I look like this flip should I Change my outfit. A lot of people also asked about this, and so I'm like, I probably should answer that. A lot of people assume that it looks like that I'm left out of the Emma, Hannah, Ellie group. No tea, no shade. So basically, a lot of you guys were asking me, being like, are you annoyed with Emma? Do you, like, are you even friends with, like, the dope girls anymore? Like, they're all amazing girls and they're all amazing like people it's just that we live in different states so just because someone doesn't post about someone doesn't mean that they like automatically there's tea and that they hate each other you know it's just we don't see each other you know oh my goodness my nose is rotting <sighs> i literally have swallowed so many boogers i've probably hit my calorie limit okay that's <laughs> just disgusting kidding. okay so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe you learned some stuff about me in general in the youtube world the viewer normally only sees what the content creator puts out and normally what the content creator puts out is a lot of edited pictures and videos and you know all that stuff i don't even know what i'm trying to say so it's just funny to see like your guys assumptions about our lives and like what you see anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that video and you had a great time watching it shout out to avery ovard for the really cool video idea go check her out make sure you guys subscribe if you want to give it a thumbs up and also turn on your post notifications and i know that sounds really cliche but youtube does have like a weird algorithm and sometimes my videos just don't get suggested it to you guys in your inbox if you turn on those post notifs you'll never miss a video from me i don't even have my own post notifications on i'll see you guys in my next video have a great day and thank you for watching bye <coughs> also there's merch check it out down below shopmarlacatherine.com bye